Hi hey everybody, this is Lamont and Tony over here at Big Dog's Port. Right here we have two throttle bodies. Both of them are from AccuFab. 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 <laughs> yeah, so these um throttle bars are from AccuFab. You have the AccuFab old style, and now you have the AccuFab new style. Okay? And we're doing this quick little video because as soon as Lamont opened up the AccuFabs, we sell a lot of these AccuFabs. Okay? We get them in, and we modify them, and port them, and make them flow better than they do from stock. Because um, one of the biggest keys to making horsepower with EFI setups is throttle body, throttle body tunnel flow on the intake manifold, and the runner flow. And as soon as Lamont opened up, you, you noticed something different, right, Lamont? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the first thing that he noticed, he said that the new style was different than what he's used to seeing. Okay. Um, and when we're comparing the two, now this one is an 80. Okay. And this one is a 90. Both AccuFab, they both have the same housing. It's just, you know, when they machine this 80, I mean, it's 90, of course, it's going to have a bigger opening. But it's the same exact housing, as you see. It's the same housing. They use the same weld. It's the same bracket. I don't really like these brackets because, as you see, this is brand new. So you see how thick this is? You see, this used one is worn a little bit. It's a little different. I don't particularly like these, this linkage because to me it just seems like they skimped on it and used a flimsy, you know, um, um, linkage. But they hold up. Um, we haven't seen one that has broken or came loose or anything like that. So. They hold up. It's just my preference. I want something a little bit more beefier. Anyway, they use the same linkage, same exact housing, but you can tell they started changing some of the components and their quality of machining. Okay, this new style is different. This shaft is machined differently. Okay, it's kind of machined I would say the quality of the machining isn't what it's used to be plus it's a little different this throttle blade I don't know if you can see it but the throttle blade they apparently are using a different manufacturer to produce their blades because this blade is different and it doesn't have the typical AccuFab engraved on it. So we can tell they're, they're outsourcing that. They're probably saving money to outsource on that. This original, this old style, you see the blade is different. And it has AccuFab engraved on it. So definitely, they also, you can tell by this linkage. You see how thick it is? You see how thick it is? Now it's thicker, but it's not like the original. The original is thinner and it's round. So it looks like they may have started outsourcing some of their components to put these throttle bodies together. Okay, now we know what the old style 80 millimeter AccuFab throttle body flow. I think we got one around here somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so we know what they flow because we get a lot of them in and we modify a lot of them. Uh, so we have them on file of what they flow. So we're going to flow this one. It's out the box stock, and we're going to see what it does. 
if it is in line with um, the old style 80 or did their refinement change flow quality? So we're going to show you that right now. So we have it set up on the flow bench with our radius right here that we used. As you see, everything is set up. So go ahead, crank it up. So about 1265, 1270. Um, that's a little bit lower than the old style. So, um, and you noticed, you noticed, I don't know if you guys noticed, but crank it up again, Lamont, and see if they notice. You notice that? Now, there was a guy a little while ago that, and I hope he's watching this video, because one of the things we get tired of we get tired of people coming into the comments of our videos and trying to correct us on things that we experience things that we do and see on a daily basis we see hundreds and hundreds of parts you know a year and a lot of these parts be the same parts now you guys noticed this AccuFab was whistling. And a guy came into the comment on one of the previous videos that we did. And we were, you know, doing a video of, I think it was an AccuFab or a BBK. I think it was an AccuFab. And people know, it's widely known that certain parts come from the manufacturer with certain characteristics. Some of the BBKs and pretty much every AccuFab that we've tested, whether it's on the floor bench or on the car, they have a whistle. Um, you have plenty of people that has created posts and threads asking about, you know, do their throttle body whistle? And the guy got on you know the comment section and he was going back and forth telling us oh, we don't know what we're talking about and every AccuFab that he's used and as a matter of fact it wasn't on the YouTube it was on Facebook yeah he was a Facebook comment and he was trying to tell us that oh, we don't know what we're talking about and yada yada but listen guys ultimately we ended up you know blocking him because we're just not going to have the trolls if we're showing you on a video, and yes, everything is blocked up, we're showing you on the video, and we're trying to help you guys by showing you guys things that you may not have access to, or you may not know. That way it can you know, help you with your build or help you with you know, a decision to purchase something. And there's nothing wrong with this throttle body. It's a great throttle body, you know? Um, and when we say it may whistle, when we say it may be out of calibration or whatever, we're not saying it's trash, don't buy it, it's garbage, throw it in the gun. We're not saying that. We're just letting you know the truth. We're just being transparent. We can fix the whistle. Okay? We can make this throttle body flow more CFM. So we're just telling you. You buy these throttle bodies and you put them on your vehicle and you start hearing a whistle either at idle, part throttle, or wide open throttle, don't be alarmed because this is one of the things that they do. Can it be fixed? Of course it can. But don't get on our, our, our social media pages or YouTube channel attacking us. And for some odd reason, they love attacking us, man. We, they, you know what? They must love us. They must love to hate us, Lamont. They love to attack us. 
They love to be the ones to say, ha ha, big dogs is wrong. I'm gonna be the one to expose them. Oh, what, what was what was recently? Recently, Lamar? What was the recent? Plenty things recently. Yeah, what, what was the recent one, Lamar? Uh, the recent one was about. It was, it was a guy we had to um, he was a troll on on, on YouTube. Right? He was trolling us. What was he saying on YouTube? That that video? Oh, oh, he was saying that he didn't say. Big Dog's performance. He said, Tony. <laughs> he said, Tony is lying to people and misleading people. And going back and forth, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, trying to keep it, you know. I don't I don't mind if you have, if you disagree with us. You know, we don't mind. But when you start attacking and becoming disrespectful, especially when you're on our platform, we're just not going to tolerate it because that's not why we post up these videos and the content, you know. And he got disrespectful, so we had to block him. And he took it upon himself to, what, what did he do? Go on to a different form. Yeah, he went to a form. Pretty much make a post about, not even big dogs, what? Big dogs in a way, but it's mostly about you. <laughs> yeah, he put, he made the whole. It was funny. I I, I kind of felt flattered. I'm like, this guy took the time out of his. I'm pretty sure not busy day, and he created a whole thread entitled the thread my whole name and said I was a liar and. I, I mean, he thought he was doing. I guess he 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 thinks he thought he was going to tear us down. Doesn't understand it, you know. The customers who are running, experiencing, have seen firsthand our work. They all say the same thing. We offer a whole lot of port and a whole lot of results, a whole lot of services for a very little price. And you just can't beat that. I'm sorry. You, no matter what you do, you, you may not like me personally. You may not like Lamont. You may not like the girls. You know, the girls that's, that's in the back office. You may not like them. But you're going to love, love the results and the services. You may not like the turnaround time sometimes. Certain parts, certain orders, it may take longer than others. We may have delays. All kinds of things happen at the shop. That you guys don't know. That may take the delay. You know. You may not like that. But when you get your part. You're going to love it. They all say the same thing. So this guy. He made a whole thread. Tony Brooks is a liar. I kind of felt flattered. Thank you. Thank you Chris. <laughs> I felt flattered. Like wow. You know this guy is making a whole thread about me that made me feel good because you know if we were nobodies then nobody would know you right we'd be invisible right that's because I didn't know him I didn't know who he was you know right he was never a customer right never a customer but he claims that all of our work is trash our results are trash our customers are lying. Our customers don't make power despite all of the results and posts that you know we put up. Results and posts that our customers put up. They even put up videos, you know, uh, running the parts. But it was personal with him because he got upset because we had to block him on the YouTube channel. And it's something that I didn't want to do, but you're not going to disrespect us and insult us on our own platform. That's like you going to somebody's house. Lamont, you go to somebody's house, right? Yeah. And you spill on their floor. And they, they ask you, man, why did you spill on my floor? And you say, because your floor needs to be spat on. And you get smart with them and you disrespect them in, the, in, in their own house. And they kick you out. 
and now you go around talking about them because they kicked you out of their house when you were being disrespectful. That's what that guy did. I'm not going to say his name anymore because I don't want to give him any fame. That's what he wants. But anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> Anybody that says Big Dog's performance does not deliver, does not provide great results, and does not do good party, they're either smoking crack, a hater, they don't know what real porting is, or the they're jealous. Just mis, no, they're just misinformed. They not informed Lamont. These guys, are, they gotta, they gotta have, they gotta have, they gotta have some kind of brain. These guys yeah, gotta have some kind of brain. These haters who follow people who have multiple posts. Oh, I have ten thousand posts. Well, he must be an intelligent guy. Doesn't mean anything. It means he's had time on the computer for a long time. That's true. That's true. But the difference between those guys and us, we're actually showing stuff like this. We're showing stuff. You know, we're showing the actual numbers, the before and after results. We're showing it. We're posting up, you know, dino results. People are saying, hey, I'm making more power with this part when everybody else with the same part isn't. That's the difference. We're not just sitting here talking. We're, I mean, look at this flow bench, guys. This flow bench got a lot of miles on it. Why? Because we port and test everything. Everything. I mean, look at this rack. Tons of valve train stuff. Why? Because we have a lot of volume. Because people want that big dog sauce. <laughs> because we put our heart and souls in it. So they can't be that, they can't be that, that slow. They know. It's just they don't like it. It's like, it's like you got people that hate on Michael Jordan. Then you got people that hate on LeBron. And they use each of the two to put the other one down. But in reality, they're both great. So how come people can't be honest and say, hey, you don't have to like Tony. You don't have to like Lamont. But you do see what we're doing. I mean, you see what we're doing. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, hold on a second. Yeah, we came to the back of the shop. So I want to show you guys something, okay? Now, you see this. This is an Edelbrock Performer RPM2. Now, we hit it with our matte black. Now, I'm going to ask you guys, what stage porting is this? Just by looking at it, what stage port is this? Just by looking at the outside, you would think, okay, it's stock. It's a stage two. Nope. This is a stage three. This is stage three. We cut this manifold open, shortened the runners, welded it all back up, did the body work and coated it with our tough skin ceramic epoxy matte black. And you can't tell this manifold was cut open. Look at that. You can't tell. So this manifold now has shorter runners. And it flows more than an out the box Victor 50. Set up with an 80 millimeter throttle body tunnel. But you can't tell. This is the kind of work that we do. It's stealthy. But, guys, this shit takes a long time to do, it's a lot of work.
So when people make posts about turnaround times, doing work like this with the results that we get, this is why. So what do you guys want us to do? You want us to stop doing work like this and just do basic stage twos only? And everybody now won't have the opportunity to experience a stage three or a BRD? Or just give us, keep being patient with us because we're making these stage threes faster. You know, we, we are buying new equipment. We have new equipment in the shop. We got new equipment coming. And that's going to allow us, got a little dust right here. That's going to allow us to do the stage threes and the iron GT40P and GT40 head porting faster. Which is going to increase everybody else's turnaround time. Because iron head porting for stage two, that takes about what? 35, 40 hours total? And we, yeah. Not that long, not that, not, not that long anymore. It takes about, about 30, about 30 hours. But that's 30 hours for a set of iron heads. So what do you guys want us to do? Stop doing iron heads? Because we stopped doing iron heads, we stopped doing stage threes, and our turnaround time greatly increased. But you're going to miss out on the stage threes, the BRDs, and the iron hair port work. So it's like pick and choose. Pick and choose with you. I mean, in the video comment section, do you want us to stop doing the stage two iron head port work and the stage threes and the BRDs? To increase our turnaround time. Or. Will you hang in there with us. Because we are. Every single week. Improving our turnaround time. We're shortening everything up. You know, reporting faster. We're finding new equipment. We got some new equipment coming. That's going to allow us. To. Use a machine. To do. 60% of the stage three work. So instead of doing that particular aspect of it by hand, we're gonna have a machine do it. And that's gonna cut out, well, what would we say, two hours? Yes. That's gonna cut out two hours on the stage threes, which would allow us to get to everything else quicker. So just hang in with us, guys. Don't beat us up so bad. And if you're gonna make hate posts and thread, make them by Lamont. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You go ahead if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lamont. Yeah, you see. It's me. I'm I'm cool. You know, I I, I can take. I got thick skin. Lamont end up at your house. <laughs> no, nah, we're just kidding, guys. We're just keeping it nice and nice and fun. You know, we don't let that stuff bother us. We actually laugh at it. You know, you no, know, we actually get flattered. You know, when they when they when they make such a big deal. You know, when guys go out of their way to try to to try to hurt us but trust me all they did was just bring us more customers all that thread did was bring us more customers because we use that thread as an opportunity to advertise I mean he made a thread about about <laughs> why <are> you laughing <laughs> he made a thread about Tony Brooks he, he titled the thread Tony Brooks is a liar so that gave me the green light to advertise. Because technically, it's like my thread, right? He said Tony Brooks on the thread. You so, have the right to respond. Exactly. Yes. So the way I responded, guys, as the businessman that I am, I just uploaded a lot of our videos, a lot of our content, a lot of our you know before and after. And I just used that opportunity to advertise. That way they can't say, oh, you just getting on here advertising. No, you made a thread Tony Brooks so I just you know took that opportunity to capitalize on it but anyway so you guys saw that throttle body um, the new style flows a little bit less than the old style but anything that comes through us we're gonna make it better anyway so we're gonna have that throttle body flowing well over 1300 CFM 
and um, um, that's actually going with a package deal with the customer. So we're going to get his order and that yeah. throttle body good to go. You said what? Yeah, and we're still working on everybody else's. Yeah, we're working on everybody else's, you know, all these damn iron heads. And you know what we, we did, Lamar? We messed up. What? We made the iron heads, those GT40 and GT40Ps, we made them perform too well. Because now it closed the gap. Those heads closed the gap. Hold on. Yeah, we actually made the GT40P and GT40 heads. We increased the, this one is getting ported, so don't worry about it. It's not, it's nowhere near done. But we, we, we kind of closed the gap because now people are getting these heads, where well, they've gotten these heads, they're putting them on their vehicles and they're posting their results. And you know, these heads are iron. These heads are going to last well over 100,000 miles and won't give you no, no real problems. You know, we have new seats in these heads. And these heads get a four angle valve job, full porting. All the machine work was done. Um, new seals, high performance valves. For the works. Our stage two port jobs and stage two ported iron heads basically you're getting the equivalent of a $2,500, $3,000 race prep factory um, racing class head. You get the worst. I mean, you, you, we give you a lot for less. And like these heads, they currently sell for like what, 1075? Yeah, 1075, these are the piece. We, we, we don't sell the, the 40s anymore because they're too hard to get to come by and they cost too much, and the peas are better because when we surface these heads, um, and after we're finished porting the chambers, the chambers are usually around um, between 57 and 59 cc. Okay, so you get a nice bump of compression. The chamber modifications that we do increases um, the swirl, uh, increases the mixture distribution and also increases the flow on the low lift and on the high lift. The springs are good for 560, 570 lift, and we also offer a beehive spring conversion um, um, more, and that gets you like 610 um, lift and more capabilities. Um, but these heads, we, have a, we sell a lot of these heads. A lot of the, I mean, we we sell a lot of these heads, and the reason why is because, like I said, we've gotten these heads to perform. And if you're running one of our cams that has a 545 lift, or you're running, you know, an aftermarket cam like Anderson uh, N41, Anderson N51, or one of the comp cams, you know, the 274 um, or cam similar. You're not gonna need a cylinder head that flows very well at 600, 620 thousandths um, um, inch lift. So if you run like an N41, that has a 512 lift. These heads respond great to the Anderson N41. With our stage two, these heads, hell, these heads make on a stock bottom end 302, with full accessories, our stage two P's made what? 352? Yes. And that was with um, a clutch fan, no underdrive pulley, and our complete GT40 P kit with just our stage two Explorer GT40 manifold. So imagine stage three um, manifold, imagine an underdrive pulley, imagine a 306 with more compression, what it would have made. You know, um, so that's the issue. You know, we, we, we have a lot of customers buying these heads and everybody knows these heads are not like aluminum heads. You can't cut these iron heads as fast as you can these aluminum heads. These are some of the AFR enforcers that we sell. You know, we sell a lot of these enforcers too. 
You know, they're a good head out the box, but our stage two turns into a great head. They pretty much, you know, uh, flows, outflows the Renegade 185s overall. And they're much, much cheaper. You know, um, but yeah, these stage two irons, basically they're performing like your 165s and your trick flow 170s. A lot of guys say, no way, no way. Well, you saying that because you haven't run these damn things. A lot of people say, oh no, I've, I've had though, I've put in tons of work and, 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 and had some worked over iron heads and they couldn't perform like my once. Yeah, you didn't have ours. You didn't have ours. You know, we do a lot and we test these heads like crazy and we've developed a program to where we know exactly what to do. Even our valve angles, our valve seat angles that we use, it's not standard. We have our own valve seat angles, our four angle valve job that works with our style of porting. All of that's a factor. You know, this has just a regular valve seat. We haven't cut the valve seats on these. Once we finish the whole porting and all of that, then we go back in and, and cut our own angles. We do our valves, you know, and then we lap everything in and check the uh, we pressure checking to make sure there's a good seal. But yeah, that's the issue. So when people get these heads and they see them perform, they say, I can put a factory head in on that performs very well, gives me a ton of horsepower, doesn't cost the arm and the leg, that'll last forever, and people won't suspect I'm making as much as I'm making. Now, we even have guys with 351s getting these heads. We got a guy, Nick the Van guy. What's up, Nick? Nick in the house. So, you know, he's he's building something, and he's going to be using a lot of our parts, and... um. Yeah, Nick is going to have a nice surprise for people. So stay tuned to that. Go check him out, Nick Van Guy. So we're going to, um, Lamont telling me to end this video because he said I'm talking too much. So That's normal. <laughs> I get excited, man. You have a passion for it. Yeah, I got a passion for it. They don't understand that. They think, oh, it's about the it's about, it's, it's about just the money. money. Money, 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 no. If it was about the money, then we'd be charging you guys what everybody else is charging. Because think about it. We actually could, because we're actually doing pretty much more. We're offering more, but we're charging you less and offering more. What companies do that? We got to be crazy, man. This day and time, not many. I know I'm crazy. But I mean, hey, <laughs> you know, it was time when we didn't have any too much money. We wanted to go fast. Yeah, that's true. You know, I'm not trying to you know, go back in time or nothing with the speed, but still, you, know, you want to at least hold your own. So yeah. if you, you want to hold your own on the budget. Yeah. What's the problem with that? Yeah. So that's true, Lamont. So guys, need you guys help. Okay. So we got a lot of videos out there. Got about 200 videos or so. I'm growing. So whenever you guys see anybody talking bad or trying to say we're liars, you guys got tons of content out there to show them. Show them. Show them the truth. Don't hate on them. Don't bash them. Don't, don't talk bad about them. You know, we're going to pray for those guys. And just, just educate them. Because we want everybody to go fast. We want everybody to be at the track smiling. We want everybody to cruise in their vehicle with pride. Life is too stressful to not have something that will make you happy. You know? So, yeah, definitely. We want everybody to go fast. Everybody to save money. You know? And put the pressure on these other companies. You know? Put the pressure on these cam manufacturers. Ask them, why are you charging six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a cam? Ask them that. Why are you charging two hundred dollars? to surface some cylinder heads. Ask them that. Have you guys seen how easy it is to surface some cylinder heads? The machine does it. You just press a button. Set it up, press a button. So why are they charging so much? Oh, they're charging that 
because they can. You know, why are these guys charging, you know, $700 to gasket match an intake manifold? Oh, because they can. Why are these guys porting and not giving you before and after flow results? Oh, because you guys allow them to. And that's why they hate on us. Because we're giving you guys a lot of stuff, a lot of services for free. So put the pressure on them, guys. Ask them. You know, right now, as of this video, our stage two cam only, only sells for 340. It's a billet, hydraulic roller, small block four, stage two cam. Our stage three, what's that selling for? Uh, 450. Right. Yeah, 450. So, why everybody else cam is five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a camshaft? Come on, guys. Help us help you. Help us help you. So, once again, this is Lamont. This is Tony, the liar. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys at the track.